Have you ever thought about how countries define the cars that we drive? America, big long straight roads, big V8 engine cars. Japan, crowded streets, small little city cars. Italy, beautiful supercars. Because Italy has some of the greatest roads in the world. And up there somewhere is one of the best of all time, the Grossglockner Pass. And we've come to the Dolomite Mountains in search of it. We don't have a supercar, but we've got Hyundai's latest i30N, its first high performance hot hatch. So this is gonna be fun. The Grossglockner High Alpine Pass, as it is officially called, is the highest paved road in Austria and considered one of the greatest driving roads in Europe, alongside the iconic Stelvio Pass in Italy and the colder Torini north of Monte Carlo in the French Alps. It was first opened in 1935 and on its second day of operation hosted an international motor race, a sign of its stature and things to come. The Grossglockner is a toll road that links the villages of Hillingerblut in the southern side and Brook to the north. It's a 48 kilometre stretch of sinewy tarmac that rises to two and a half thousand metres above sea level. The i30N might wear a South Korean badge, but the car maker's first hot hatch was conceived and developed in Europe on the torturous Nürburgring circuit by some of Germany's greatest car guys, led by former BMW boss Albert Biermann. Under its bonnet is a 202 kilowatt, two litre four cylinder turbo engine that drives the front wheels through a mechanical LSD via a six speed manual gearbox. It's got adaptive suspension, bigger brakes, sticky Pirelli tires, and a crackling exhaust system. All the key attributes of a genuine hot hatch. This should be a fun car on a road like this. We're starting to pull out out of the clouds and my God, the scenery is just amazing. And the road, now it opens up. And look what's in front of me, this thing is just amazing. It's like Bathurst was carved into the side of a mountain. And the i30N certainly proves that you don't need a supercar to enjoy it. This thing has got plenty of grip, it's got plenty of grunt to pull you up the hill, and best of all, it's fun, it's full of character. And it's certainly not gonna spit you off the side of the earth. It's got great brakes, you put it into the sport mode and the suspension stiffens up, and you can really just play with this car on these kinds of roads. Yep, this is definitely one of Europe's greatest drives. Wow, look at that. It's like a racetrack was painted on the side of the planet. And if you're a rev head, there aren't too many reasons to stop, obviously. But if you're not, look at it. This place is just spectacular.